session four podman networking how we create network how container networking works running multiple containers inside one pod exposing container ports creating and inspecting networks by creating containers inside a pod your containers can communicate with each other think of a simple web application you might have a web server and a database server when create containers in a pod what we are talking is we create one pod a logical group for putting containers inside it then we can launch containers inside the pod that will be running the database server then we will launch the second container that's a web server in the same pod this way it will be able to talk to the database server directly by the pod host name think of it as a local networking so let's uh, do it step by step first step is uh, create a mysql so download images of mysql and wordpress from docker hub with your account by running these simple commands podman pull docker io library mysql latest and uh, docker io library wordpress pull these two images you already have mysql image i believe after downloading both images you will create a mysql pod podman pod create name the skillpedia publish now this hyphen hyphen publish or lower case p meaning any request coming on port number 8080 will be forwarded to port number 80 host name is mysql so this is a pod we have created now create a container inside the pod the skillpedia so podman run hyphen d means detached pod detached mode pod name is the skillpedia which we created here and the these are the environment variables we are passing you remember e and v was instruction in the docker file where you can specify the environment variable to be used inside the container so we are passing those environment variables because uh, mysql image provide these environment variable that you can pass mysql user root password mysql password database all these are provided when you are running this mysql from this image passing these environment variable will set your username and uh, password and everything it will create a database db here a user with the name user which is given here and password pass which is given here on the host mysql these details will be needed for the installation of wordpress we need to take note of these details and this is root password so this is the command output the screenshot is itself is a guarantee that if you follow the instruction carefully if you execute the same command it will work without any problem now create wordpress container in the pod the skillpedia podman run name wordpress container pod name is the skillpedia and detached mode and the image name is this so now we have wordpress also running in the same pod now we can check that both containers are running by using podman ps command on open the browser and go to the address localhost 8080 remember this 8080 was the port we exposed when we created the pod so therefore you have to hit the port number 8080 when you hit that you see that it will directly you will be welcomed by the wordpress installation steps and you specify the database name username password mysql so you will be able to uh, configure after you set up these details uh, your wordpress will be installed that is how you can have multiple containers inside one pod uh, and, and the use cases uh, the, i'm not talking about kubernetes right now kubernetes have uh, different uh, design patterns which i will discuss in detail right now the focus is only the pod part and podman container network model cnm it standardizes the steps required to provide networking for containers using multiple container drivers now we need to understand there are a lot of possibilities for networking among the containers 
because what we need is probably we want a dedicated physical or MAC address or we want a port mapping or we want some other things so we need a lot of additional things so what all possibilities are there and how can we work that what kind of driver we are using it depends on that CNM has interfaces for IPAM plugin and network plugins the IPAM plugin API are used to create delete address pools address pools meaning uh, the from where the containers will take the IP addresses call them as uh, something like similar to VCNs in the cloud and allocate deallocate container IP addresses that is subnet and the given IP address whereas the network plugin APIs are used to create and delete networks that is subnets and add remove containers from those networks the CNM has mainly built for five objects network controller driver network endpoint and sandbox there are now the first important point yesterday there were many times this question was asked about the expose instruction or the networking part there are two ways of exposing ports one is you can use expose instruction in your docker file as explained and second is using hyphen hyphen expose flag at runtime when you are publishing the port via hyphen p uppercase or lowercase using uppercase p flag in podman run command will let you publish all expose ports to random ports on the host interface meaning inside the container you have a specific port let's say 70 and on the host machine you want to pick up any random port so any request coming on a random port on the host machine should be forwarded to port number 70 so then you will use uppercase p flag uh, hyphen p so it is uh, in short form if you want to write full form it is publish all using lowercase p let you publish a container specific port to the host in short it is hyphen hyphen publish that means you have to specify which port you want to publish you want to map the port mapping is done with uppercase p means random port lowercase p means specific port you have to specify that and we have been using lowercase p how do we list all the networks we have we can simply use the command network ls podman network list podman network ls when i use this command you can get the network id the name and the driver if you want to see more details on the network you can use podman network inspect podman network inspect podman so when you say podman network inspect podman you can see the name also id driver network interfaces created on this date subnets what all subnets we have ip6 enabled or not internal ip or not dns enabled or not ipam options all these things you can see when inspecting a network this is important when you are troubleshooting creating your own network you can create network before launching containers like podman network create driver is driver name for example podman network create driver is bridge and the name of the network is new network and you can use this network for your own containers that's the container networking part that's all for this session thank you very much